Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn a little bit of math. We started this series nine days ago. Today is our lesson number nine. And today we're going to learn the times table of nines and tens. Let's find out. Let's learn it, shall we? Before we talk about the table of nine, let's first talk about the tens table, shall we? Ten is very easy. Let's take 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 a look at ten first. Ten ones are, ten twos are, ten threes are, ten fours are, ten fives are, ten six are, ten sevens are. Ten eights are, ten nines are, and how much can you have if you have ten tens? Ten tens are one hundred. Ten ones if you have, that's just ten. Table of ten is very simple, everybody knows that. Ten twos, if you have ten twos, that's twenty. If you have ten of the threes, that's thirty. That's like adding three, adding up three ten times. 10 fours is 40, 10 fives are 50, 10 six is 60, 70, 80, 90, and finally 100. That was very simple, very straightforward deal. Let's, a, let's take a look at nine table. Nine table sometimes people have trouble remembering, people have trouble figuring it out, the values. Here's what's going on. Nine ones, nine twos, Nine threes, nine fours, and nine fives. Let's first look. Let's first take a look at these. I'm going to erase this part so it doesn't come in our way. Well, nine ones are nine. That's very simple. What about nine twos? Well, nine twos is very straightforward. If we know that ten twos are twenty, if 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 you have ten twos and that's twenty, well, nine twos is just one fewer twos. Than before, instead of ten, instead of ten twos, we have nine twos. So whatever this answer is, we just take away one two from it. So nine two is simply going to be ten twos, which we know is twenty, minus a two. Take away one two. Same thing here. We know ten threes are thirty. We need nine threes. So we know ten threes are thirty. We just take away three. Take away one three, because thirty represents ten three. Ten three minus one three is going to give you give you your nine threes. Nine fours, well, ten fours are forty, take away one four. We know ten fives are fifty, we we'll take away one five. And there is your answer. So this is just going to be eighteen. Nine twos are eighteen. Nine threes are going to be thirty minus three, which is twenty-seven. Nine fours are going to be forty minus four, which is thirty-six. And nine fives are going to be same as ten fives minus a five. If you have ten fives, which you know ten fives are fifty. You take away one five from it. Fifty minus five is forty-five. Let's continue, shall we? Then we'll have nine sixes, nine sevens, nine eights, nine nines, and nine tens. And nothing is going to change. The same as before. Same exact logic. Same exact philosophy. Of course, you have to memorize the tables. Of course, I'm not suggesting that uh, that uh, this obvious necessity to memorize it. We are not suggesting that this trick that we are playing here somehow obvious a necessity to memorize it. You still have to memorize them, the table that is. But at least it makes some logical sense, some intuitive sense. 9 sixes are going to be same as 10 sixes, which is 60, and you take away 1 6. 9 sevens are going to be 10 sevens minus a 7. 9 eights are going to be 10 eights, which are 80. 10 eights, I know, it's eight, are 80. 10 eights are 80. If I take away 1 eight from the 10 eights, I will have 9 eights. Similarly, 9 nines are going to be 10 nines, which are 90. Take away 1 9. And of course, we know 10 tens are 100, so 9 tens are going to be 90. That was very easy. So all we have to do now is, all we have to do now is figure out what 60 minus 6 is. 60 minus 6 is 54. 70 minus 7 is going to be 63. 80 minus 8 is going to be 72. And 90 minus 9 is going to be 81. And that's all there is. 
When did we learn the word obviate in our vocabulary lessons? I'm pretty sure we did. Day number 52. Vocabulary, day 52. If you're interested in improving your vocabulary, just type in vocabulary words. Just simply type in vocabulary words, day 52. And if you're looking for something and if, it, if you have trouble finding it, try putting in my name with it and it will pop right up. Just type in Keshwani vocabulary or Keshwani words, day 52, and it will pop right up. Watch that video and you will learn the word obviates along with some other interesting and useful words, particularly if you be if you happen to be preparing for any of these tests, ACT, SAT, T's, or GMAT, uh, having, or, or GRE for that matter, having a good vocabulary is a must. Anyway, that was it. That was our 9th table and that was our 10th table. It's very straightforward, very simple, nothing to it. I will see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.